Hello guys, so what is your name and background? Okay, so I'm Rob Finian and my background is the, the mobile industry. Uh, I've worked for a lot of the, the network operators for the last, actually, about 20 years, in fact. I uh, worked for a couple of startup companies in the past, but it's always been to do with uh, network infrastructure for the mobile network operators and not to do with end user applications. Thank you. Um, I'm Kat Barber. Um, I studied graphic design and did a bit of that. Um, more recently, I've been working in a university, which is an unrelated field, but currently I'm studying at City University to hopefully get into some sort of web design. And what application are you building over this weekend? Um, so the application is entitled, well, at the moment, Volunteering. Um, and it's a little bit like, uh, say, Farmville, but in real life. So you've maybe got some friends on Facebook that are using Farmville and they keep on advertising on their newsfeed that uh, Adrian helped um, Andrew plant some seeds in Farmville. Um, why don't you come along and join and help with something else or something like that? Now the idea is that there are these people that are just doing that, spending a lot of time in a virtual world doing virtual things and wouldn't it be nice if they actually got out into the real world did real useful things, good deeds in the real world with real people. Um, not only actually getting some good stuff done, but also getting out and meeting new people, new friends in real life, and not just uh, in a virtual world. And why did you feel that Hackathon was the right environment to develop that application? Um, I've been thinking about this for quite a while now. Um, you know, for several months I thought I'd really like to do this and I had a little try on my own as a Facebook page um, to see whether that would work but the way Facebook changed things around to the timeline meant that didn't really work at all well and then uh, okay so you could do Facebook applications and that tried that a little bit it's quite difficult uh, didn't really actually make it work and so I thought okay if I can come to a hackathon maybe find people that know have tried things before know that that's never going to work, that's just going to be too horrendously complicated, uh, or maybe in theory it should work, but in practice it never does. Um, you know, all that kind of advice from experienced people that have tried these kind of things before. Because as I say, I've worked in mobile a lot, but I've never actually done uh, client-side end-user applications before. And so I thought in a hackathon environment, I might find some of that experience and be able to actually get this thing moving and get beyond the starting gate. Tell us, why is Collaborate going to win the hackathon? <laughs> um, I think it's going to win because it's such a fantastic idea. Um, and it, it, you know, if we can get a working prototype together and we can actually show the, okay, this is, this is how it'll work, um, then I think it's, it's just one of those things. It, the, the way something like Farmville and Cityville and all of these Zenga games are, are so addictive and you get so many people spending so many millions of hours a, a week doing this kind of stuff which is all actually not achieving anything in real life and if you could even get you know 10% or 1% even of that actually doing real good stuff in real life um, it's got to be such a brilliant benefit to, to everybody not least the people involved getting them out and meeting new people thank you